Hello and welcome back to Space Engineers. My name is Spange and uh, we're going to go out and about today. I need to go and find some platinum and some other bits and bobs and we've got lots of other asteroids and stuff to visit as well. Um, we dug up some ice and whatnot and now let's see if we can get our ship out into the wilderness and find some platinum. Um, I'm not sure where to go. We went over there last time and we found some cobalt. I might pop over there again, just on the other side of that rock. Grab my drill and make sure that platinum doesn't appear as well. Otherwise, we probably have to go a little further afield to one of these other rocks dotted around. Before we, uh, before I, I call it quits on this little training scenario, I do want to have a little fight with one of those pirate vessels that's, that's hanging around out there. I'll probably lose, probably get my ass kicked, but <laughs> at least then I know what sort of weaponry works, doesn't work, blah 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 blah. I think it's just cobalt on this rock. Yeah, nothing else coming up. That's fine, that was expected to be honest. Right, back in and let's see if we can find some on one of the further away asteroids. Like one of those. Oh, it's difficult to choose which one, there's so many. Let's go. Let's go over there. Let's go yonder, that way. Unknown signal, and we've got observation post up there. Advanced production facility up there. <laughs> okay then. Well, let's see what this rock entails. We're actually very close to this unknown signal, actually. Have a look at this. Is this going to kill us? Dampener's back on a second. Four hundred meters. I'm going to zip by it. I think. Whoop. Whoa! What the hell? <laughs> that was a good job we did zip by it and didn't just waltz up to it. Jesus! That was a mine or something like that, maybe? Is that what that was? That was crazy. That's a bit harsh, isn't it? <laughs> Unknown signal. It's a mine. Have fun. Good luck. <laughs> Cheers. What? <laughs> Outrageous. Um. 17 days of power as we just sort of trundle along at this speed. Man's production facility up there, that observation outpost up there. But we are looking for platinum at the moment, so let's bring ourselves to a slow down here. Need a little ore detector on this ship, that's what we need. Asteroid is A huge and B I think completely and utterly devoid of any kind of deposit. I'm not picking up any ore. Well okay then. <laughs> Never mind. Moving on. One of these might have platinum. Is there such a thing as an ore detector that I can fit to a ship? Because that would make life a lot easier. Um, or detector. Yes, there is. Ah, all detector detects all within a limited radius and makes them show up on your HUD. Cool. Cool. A store. A block that enables automated trading. What? <laughs> cool. All right. Fine. How does this ore detector work then? Uh, let's have a look. Does it can it we just fling it on the nose or does it require like power and stuff? I need steel plate, obviously. Maybe I can attach it to the bottom. That's a half block, isn't it? If I if I were to take those blocks off there, does it need to have 
direct line of sight to space, or do you think I could place it in the, where those two blocks are there, and it would look quite cool there? It would look fairly dandy. Um, also, it requires 20 steel plates, detector components, and I certainly don't have any detector components, so that'll have to wait until we go back to base. But it's good to know that we can put an ore detector on our boat, and therefore take the guessing out of whether these asteroids have any kind of ore on them. What? These dark asteroids up ahead look A. ominous and B. potentially. Potentially they have some goodies on them. Let's have a look. The noise of the, the engines get louder and louder the faster you go. And I'm going to have to put some dampers back on now because we're getting. Now, this one's definitely got ore on it because I can see different colours on the asteroid here. That looks like just regular old iron there. Still, keep doing that. I'm quite a million miles away. Right, that is that is regular old iron. You notice how close I had to get in order for it to ping up as well. There'll be a hole in this. More iron. Silicon. Well, there we go. So iron and silicon, I think, is all this is made of. Crap, where's my boat? <laughs> where's the ship? We can really bloody move in this little jetpack, can't we? Let's go to one of these other rocks and see what we've got over there. We've got a lot more iron here as well. Block of iron, iron, more iron, more silicon. Starting to notice a pattern with these ones. Iron and silicon. Perhaps that's all that's here. Okay, so I found this task pressurization thing. It's just another one of these tasks. I think it's to do with pressurization. Uh, <laughs> uh, we're going to have a look at this quickly before we continue our search for more platinum. I suspect what we're going to find here inside is where we need to go in order to these doors are buggered that just looks dodgy and it looks like it's going to kill you but <laughs> just a really bad effect okay what do we got to do uh, place used to be pressurized pressurized rooms will replenish your oxygen and keep you warm repair the air vent check the status of the room uh, okay where, where is there's the air vent um, we need to just take everything in here, I guess. Look at all this ice. Nice. Well, there's not a lot there, but, you know, some. That's good. Okay, so um, if I right-click that and then middle-click that, that gives me the components I need to repair this. Getting the hang of this build planner now. Right, perfect. But yellow light on the air vent means the room is not sealed. Repair the holes in the walls and doors to make sure the room is airtight. Yeah, fair enough. Repair that. Right-click that one. Right-click. What do you mean? Oh, there we go. And uh, middle mouse, all components successfully extracted. That's that one. I think we've got to do that one as well, maybe. Shovel ammo. And there we go. Notice the air vent now shows green. The room is sealed. Which means I am now warm and oxygenated. Thank you very much. <laughs> very happy here now. This is O2 H2O generator. Uh, so notice the event now shows green light, indicating the room is sealed. Connected H2O2 generator can now produce oxygen from ice and use the vent to pressurize the room. Store ice in the H2O2 generator access port on the roof. 
Alright. So, let's just grab all of this. I, th I think we we'll probably carry it all. Maybe not. Why is there a welder here? Not even an airlock system, is it? Now it is. And the ice goes in there. Jobs are good. You see your suit oxygen supply resupplies automatically when you are in a pressurized room. Well, let's just see about that, shall we? Yeah, go away. No one here. Yes, yes, it does. <laughs> Very nice. Cool. Task complete. I will have this oxygen for myself. Uh, this uh, this ice for myself, I should say. And all this stuff that I just looted. Thank you very much. The O2 H2O generator is off on one. I don't know if that's producing oxygen. I remember it's producing hydrogen. Uh, fuel for the generators. That's my hope, anyway. Uh, is there anything to mine over here? Let's see. That's a gun. Any kind of deposits? I don't think there is. The only source of ice I found so far is on on my little home platform, which is slightly concerning. And in this little box in this room, and that was it. So yeah, a little bit worried. <laughs> Obviously, they wouldn't intend in someone to spend so much time in this scenario. I should imagine it's. I'm just spending a little bit more time in here than perhaps I need to. Anyway, let's um, let's move on. Getting the hang of it now. Now there was an advanced production facility over there. Let's turn our dampeners off. Head in that direction. It's four kilometers away. Going up to full speed, full whack, ladies and gentlemen. Here we go. It's not going to take long to get there at this rate. 99 meters per second. 100 meters a second, basically. So, I think around about 1.5, we should probably start slowing down. 15 days of fuel as we just coast along with dampeners off. Here we go. 1.5. Start slowing down. <laughs> that goes down to 30 minutes as soon as I start. Put the reverse thrusters in. Task production, an advanced production facility, okay. Let's see what we got here. And there's a hydrogen thruster task further along from here as well. around there. Okay. Here we go. What have we got here then? So, this looks like an advanced production facility. There is already ore in the large container, but the conveyor tubes are unfinished. Conveyor tubes transport items between blocks. Repair the conveyor tubes. Yep. So this has got a... <laughs> There's a massive refinery there. <laughs> Excellent. Uh, right, let's let's do this properly. Let's use the build planner. So, welder in hand. Um, so this goes into the refinery. Where does it need to go? That's a storage box. And then, presumably, it's going to put a assembler here. Or, or so I, I think. Anyway, let's, uh, we'll add that one. We'll add that one. We'll add. Ooh, easy. That one. Steady. Middle mouse that badger. All components are now in my inventory. Repair. Lovely. Refiner will automatically pour ore from the container refined into ingots. 
These can be turned into components by an assembler. Build and connect an assembler to the refinery. Okay. Predictable. Production blocks. Um, assembler. Uh, you need steel plate to place it. Fine. Get some steel plate. Connect the box on all sides of this thing. So there you go. And we'll right-click that. Middle mouse. Cannot withdraw really 139 steel plates. I've already got them in my hands, though, so it's fine. And this will take a little while to build. Bingo. There we go. You learn quickly. <laughs> no, I don't. <laughs> you can upgrade advanced refineries and assemblers with modules. Can you? No, oh, I did not know that. I didn't even know you could have a module. Modules. Look at these. Speed module. Yield module. Power efficiency module. Well, bugger me. <laughs> well, that'll be uh, that'll be useful for the refinery because that takes a lot of power up. Okay, good. Um, was that it? That was it, wasn't it? Okay. Well, what have we got here then? We got stuff for days. We've got a bunch of ingots. Cool. I want to. Can I grab this? Can I take this home with me? Apparently not. Apparently this up here is not connected to the main cargo box. It's a much nicer door, that one. Doesn't kick you in the face when you get near it. Okay. And I'll take those ingots. Oh, no, thank you very much. I might come back here um, and disassemble all that stuff if I need to. That is cool. This is me. What am I doing? Going the wrong way around. <laughs> there we go. Okay, good. Right, the next one up is this hydrogen thruster. This is quite quite good actually, because hopefully this these require platinum. Hopefully there's gonna be platinum there. Oh there's a drone repair platform off to the left as well. Drone repair platform, I don't even know what what's a drone? We have drones in this game? I don't even know. What the hell is this? This is gonna ship. It is. The mining ship. Another mining ship, okay. Small mining ship here that uses hydrogen thrusters. Hydrogen thrusters are powerful but require hydrogen to function. A ship can produce hydrogen from ice using a H2O2 generator. Add ice to the ship's H2O2 generator. There was some ice around. <laughs> yeah, there is. Um, oh, just a ta just a bit as well. Bloody hell. Yikes, that's a lot of ice. This entire rock is made of it. That's cool. Because we brought a mining ship with me. So I thought these batteries were recharged by H2O2 generators. I thought you had to put ice in these ships in order to recharge their batteries. Thrusters have I got? I thought it was ion thrusters on the uh, ion thrusters on the ship, isn't it? Not hydrogen thrusters. I think that's probably it. Five thousand six hundred kilograms picked up. Everything is full. Everything is full. All right. We got some ice. I need to connect this to the main ship here. Okay, so now I just need to get some ice and put it into this ship. Hydrogen tank, connector, drill, small reactors have got uranium ingots in them. Wow, okay. Alright, there we go. So what does the thing say? The rear thrusters do not have a conveyor connector with the hydrogen tank. Repair or add a conveyor tubes to restore fuel supply to the thrusters. 
Oh yeah, I see. Has it got the materials I need on board? Oh yes, it does. There we go. This is the hydrogen thing. Bloody hell, it's huge. A monster. Uh, splendid. You can now use the ship's drill to mine more ice so it can refuel itself. Mine ice using the mining ship. Fine. We can do that. That's off. That's on. Undrop. Undocked. Oh yeah, this thing looks like it's crazy quick, I reckon. Magnificent! Hydrogen thrusters can be used to escape planetary gravity. Ah, get some more ice. I think we're full of ice already. I think that's that's full, isn't it? I think, yeah, <laughs> 1,000. Uh, that's full. Hydrogen tank 2 isn't full. Connector is. Everything in between. Drill six. Yeah, and the O2 H2O generator is working on it. Okay, so there we go. We've got another ship we need to tow around with us, I think. Um, I'll slap this one on the bottom. Somehow. <laughs> I don't even know where it's uh, landing gear is there. Look, there we go. Okay, whoop. Steady. Go and uh, let's just attach that one. I'll turn it off for now. This is the uh, the other ship up here <laughs> is uh, still flinging ice through the conveyor system. So I'm gonna I'm gonna move that into my main cargo bay, cargo thing, container. So that we can turn the ship off. There we go. Okay. O2H2O generator. That's still going. Fine. I, I assume it's using all of this ice. This is the thing. I assume it's using all that ice to recharge its batteries and stuff. I, I don't know. Let me know in the comments. Uh, it's, it's burning through a lot of it. Or unless it's using it to produce oxygen. Oh god, I don't know which way up I am. Who invented this bloody space business? This four-dimensional nonsense. Okay, well before I go, the other thing I'm going to do here, because this is such a large ass rock of ice, is I'm going to add another GPS here from current position. Lots of ice. Double L as well, just to accentuate the point there. Okay, lots of ice has been added. Fantastic. Let's get back in the boat. We still haven't found any platinum. It's quite disappointing that the iron thruster tutorial didn't give us any. Um, I have no idea where we're going to find any. There's a lot of space out here, so just have to try and see, I guess. Uh, next stop is this drone facility. Drone repair platform over there. Let's see, let's get uh, dampeners are off. Full speed, Captain. Our ion engines. Here we go. This is another thing with Space Engineers. We are currently moving at 100 meters a second and I am out of my seat. Yep. <laughs> I am standing around on a ship that's moving. Now that's, that's kind of unique for me because I'm an Imperion player historically and you can't do that in Imperion, so well done Space Engineers. Look, okay, here we are. We have a drone. There seems to be a big TV screen. What the heck? Oh, it's got a little gun on it. That's cool. <laughs> Sweet. It's like a computer game within a computer game. <laughs> all right, cool. Uh, where's the task? I'm just walking all over this with my magnetic boots, and I fell off. There we go. Uh, right. This facility repaired unmanned drones to mine, build, and defend the area. To control a ship remotely, you need a remote control block and an antenna. 
repair the remote control block, add an antenna to the drone. Okay, I assume this is the remote control block, or is, is that talking about what's on the... Yeah, blast door edge. Add that. Add that. I'm going to repair the entire thing, right? Right, anyway. What's that bit? That bit. Oh, then my ship sounds like a bloody diesel truck just sat there. <laughs> Chugging away. Oh, well, this thing's a lot smaller bit because it doesn't need a cockpit or anything, doesn't it? All these other ships are quite chunky. That's quite cool. Right, and we need to build an antenna. Add an antenna to the drone. Okay. Um, antenna? I like that. One of those, yeah? Okay. Let's stick it on the back, back ass side like that. Bingo. And not withdraw. There we go. To control the ship, press Shift K to enter the menu. Show ships within your antenna range, then select Control. Make sure your suit antenna is to toggled on. Wait, my suit antenna. What's my suit antenna? Uh, I can't control the ship. It's not letting me control the ship. Oh, there we go. I thought you had to be in the little chair, but it, you don't. You just stand in next to it, and then uh, I've got a little little drone. Here we go. All right, I've got a gun on this drone, I swear. Damaged drone. Ship has been disconnected from terminal. Fly the drone towards the GPS. What GPS? There's many GPSs. Drone waypoint. Oh, yeah, that one. Talk about precision flying. Drones are handy if you like to build cheap and small ships. Yeah, no doubt. Providing you stay in range. And that's the thing, is how do you know what the range is? Um, any indication of that? I don't, there's indication of power as always. But I don't know what the range is. Oh, hang on. I still seem to be controlling the ship, even though I've left. <laughs> That's cool. So you can control it from, from your own eyes. Sweet! That's cool. That's very cool. And there is ammo on there. Gatling gun. So that's the other thing as well is when you're in when you're in control of that I can't select the weaponry um, what can I yes I can boom 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 shoot once Yeah. That's weird though, it's like the gun is not on the mouse controls at all, it's just like... <laughs> just hit one. 
Um, so if I put that, let me put that back on again. Not really. Shoot on, use converted toggle block on off. Show one heard. Shoot once, shoot on off. So if I shoot on off. <laughs> That's a bit better. Dagger, 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 dagger. Alright, cool. Could you bound the mouse key to, to the toolbar? Like that? Like, like you would use a normal gun? There we go. Little drones. Very cool. Right, there's no more things around here that I haven't been to now. Uh, there might be more to discover, I don't know. Uh, but that's pretty cool. I still haven't found any platinum. <laughs> I don't know if I will. Uh, but there we go. Drones. Sweet. Good to know. Anyway, that is all I have time for today, ladies and gentlemen. I hope you enjoyed. Thank you very much for watching. And hopefully, I'll see you next time. Until then, take care. Bye-bye.